uh, we have uh, created each and every configurations of the FI to SD integrations and all, and we have created the complete uh, purchasing flows and we have created the condition records and uh, we have assigned the each and every GL accounts based on the condition records and all and uh, cost of code sell account we have assigned in the OBYC transaction code and all. Now what we need to do is so we will test each and everything. OK, like from the uh, sales orders, uh, I think so. Material creation is over, right? Mm, yes, material creation is over. OK, good. Uh, the next thing here is give me one second. One. OK, Pawan. so first we will uh, try to uh, I mean do all these things so like uh, uh, purchase information flows and all. OK, right. Can you go to the uh, transaction code ME 21 N? So we will going to create the purchase orders using transaction code ME 21 N. See, based on all these things, we will going to test the sales order records. In ECC, we have tested it successfully and in S4 HANA, we will going to see the things. OK, can you take out the vendor phone? Take out the vendor also. Ah, uh, no issue. This is just standard PO only. And uh, right. Can you give purchasing organization PAV3 and purchasing group PAV and company code? Yes, click on the enter. Okay, no need to worry. Uh, so, uh, can you take out uh, item as a 30? Can you take out item as 30? And can you take out your material bone? and uh, material and the next one purchasing quantity is five anything five anything six or anything much and then next go to the uh, plant and go to the plant plant and storage location give the plant and storage location mm. right so can you click on the enter pawn can you click on the enter? Can you click on the enter? So can delivery date be met? Delivery date will be one day delivery date, right? Can you give 18? Mm, click on the enter. Okay, no issue, give 19. So Sunday is holiday, right? So that is why I, I mean for the for each and every calendars, uh, we have made it as a Sunday as a holiday. OK, right. No issue. Click on the enter. Enter. Come down. Mm, enter. Pound, uh, come down. Pound. And here can you go to the uh, quantity and weights? OK, five is the quantity and uh, the next one is invoice conditions. Conditions go to the conditions. Can you go to the conditions and all? See here I am not uh giving any conditions and all why because based on the purchasing information flows only uh i'm just giving the each and everything okay so pbrx gross price we don't have any gross price and all pbxx can you remove this condition type uh, okay i mean uh, we don't have any elements right can you go to the delete option go to the delete option here here hmm. read this thing okay Condition PBA access cannot be deleted. OK, no issue. Hmm, no worries. So PB access condition type is OK, no worries. Uh, NVSS, we don't have any deductible taxes. We don't have any cash discounts and all. So 15,000 is the main thing. Net value based on the deductions and all. Uh -huh. 15,000. 15,000 into 5 is equal to 75,000 rupees. OK, no need to worry. Can you give zero also here? Give zero pound. Uh, click on the enter. Mm. Ah, no worries. 
see based on the our condition like pb 00 only so we have made in the price no issue uh, can you go to the check option can you go to the check option if it is a document is error free uh, we will going to save the purchasing document yes go to the save button and save it go to the save button and save it Go to the save button and save it. So take out this uh, standard PO purchase order power. Take out this uh, standard PO purchase orders and all. Hmm. All right. So the next one is goods receipt using transaction code MIGO. So can you go to the transaction code MIGO? See, based on the purchase orders only, we have to post the goods receipt, right? So R01 is the purchase order and take out our purchase order. New purchase order. Uh, can you click on the enter and execute all these things? OK, can you come down pawn and go to the quantity and can you just give the quantity as five and give the PC price commodities and all click on the enter. Go to the check check option. Uh, if you are facing any errors and all automatically it will show you and if uh, this is the document OK postings, so there is no any errors here and uh, um, we have done with the MIGO posting. OK, material document. Double two triple zero zero one eight zero was posted. OK, good. The next what is the next configuration? This is not the configuration. This is just a um, I mean testing purposes. That is Miro. User parameters. OK, we will going to maintain it. Uh, can you give uh, Purchase order pawn, all information with the purchase orders and all. Automatically, we will going to see it. Uh, click on the enter. Enter. Mm, take out the purchase order. Click on the enter. So automatically, we will going to get all these details and all. Uh, can you calculate the taxes also? Tax code P1 not processor in, is invalid. OK, go to the OBBZ transaction code and we will going to find out the IN and here processor is PAV TAX uh, power tax. Click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. OK, uh, can you give slash in uh, Miro? See, we will going to uh, calculate the taxes. Why? Because in the purchase information flow, we didn't give any taxes and uh, that is why it is giving like this. Calculate the tax. Calculate the tax. Automatically it will going to calculate the tax and what is the amount 82,500. Can you give the 82,500 and reference is one. Reference is also one. No amount authorization for windows. Can you give slash and go to the transaction code OB57 and uh, uh, give the SHTG and click on the enter. Go to the save button and save it. Right, the next uh, go to the Miro. Same thing. See in real time. Uh, I mean any end user will not follow the uh, normal uh, invoices postings and normal payment clearings and all. They will follow with the purchase orders, sales orders and they will follow with automatic payment programs and dunnings only. Okay, please try to remember all these things and it comes to the user acceptance testings and all. Okay, we will going to find out the, those things. Go to the simulate option. Yes, and go to the post option and post it. And the invoice document was posted, but it is in a blocked for payment. OK, so what we need to do is we will go to the transaction code MMRB. MMBR or MMRB? MRBR, sorry. MRBR is the transaction code and we have to release the blocked invoices and all. So we have to try to uh, select this thing, go to the blocked reason. Go to the blocked reason. So it is in a block. OK, so we have to find out the reason why uh, this is this thing is in a reason. Go to the block reason option first. Then we will release the invoice. Please select at least one field. Uh, select this field. Or else uh, can you uh, deselect this field? Uh, select that uh, blocked field. No, 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 no. Remove the selection. Uh, go to the blocked reason. 
block the reason. Okay, it is not showing. Then what we need to do is, can you select this thing? Go to the release option. Okay, automatically it will be relieved. Okay, right. Can you go to the save button and save it? Okay, one invoice released. Then what we need to do is, can you give slash in? And we have to check with the, uh, what is the next thing? Uh, go to the word document. Go to the word document. See, whatever the uh, stocks that we have posted, based on the stocks on the oil machinery stocks, we have posted five quantities. Okay, and we have purchased those quantities, right? And we make those goods as a finished goods. Okay, using transaction code MMBE, we will going to see what are the stocks that are available in transaction code MMBE. Okay, can you go to the transaction code MMBE? Can you go to the transaction code MMBE? MM B E. M M B E. M M B E. Ah, go to the execute button bone. Go to the execute button. See, we have to give the material and plant. Then only you will going to find out the uh, material statuses and all. OK, that is the most important thing right now we have. Ha, huh. see five quantities that we have. OK, in the storage location PAV2 and the plant is uh, PAV1. OK, that is the most important thing, all of you. And can you give slash in? Give slash in. OK, I think uh, we have done with the, these testings. In next uh, things, we will going to see the FI2 SD integration flow. OK, I mean, how we can uh, do the integrations uh, testing flows in the uh, EVA01, VL01. And see, I think we have done all these things in the ECC. So you can just watch all those videos and all. And then next, when it comes to the SAP S4 HANA, what are the changes that are made in this uh, SAP FICO? And uh, what is the exact flow that we have? And what are the condition times that we have? We all uh, need to select each and everything. Okay, so then only uh, you can find out the flow. That is most important thing.